Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a supernatural horror film, The Fog. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Near one of California's coastal islands, hundreds of years ago, a clipper ship crashed into the sea when it was burning. Only one little boat escaped the fire, but it is unknown whether it belonged to the rescue team or to refugees. When the boat is approaching the burning ship, they are attacked by something unseen, and it becomes uncertain whether people on the boat are still alive. What happened to the fire and boat is left unknown since then. A couple of decades later, this land is preparing to celebrate its 100th anniversary one day, in memory of the four explorers for developing this island, as well as helping the locals earn their living. On Friday, the statues of the four explorers will be unveiled. Meanwhile, the man Muscle and his friend short named Buddy are currently running a trawler ship on the island. They take the tourists onto the sea, and they will fish on the boat, bringing back lots of fish every time. One day, they take tourists out as usual, and wait for the fish to come up. However, Buddy suddenly finds there's something wrong with the trawler winch. It has become stuck under the water, and is unable to retract. The thing hanging from the winch seems pretty heavy, causing the trawler to wag. Later, the winch fails to retrieve the heavy stuff, which sinks back underwater. As a result, the fishing activity is unhappy, and the clutch also fails. In order to replace the clutch, Muscle must go to downtown. As Muscle heads to downtown, Buddy takes his friend Curly, the other two girls, and his broken trawler to the sea. They dance and sing happily in the sea. At the same time an old man finds a pocket watch, while hunting treasures along the seaside. Under the seaweed with that watch, the old man is unaware that there is a broken arm lying there. Afterward, strange things happen. He sees his watch start to work again on its own, and his dogs die at home. Therefore, he wonders whether the watch is cursed. While driving home, Muscle runs into his girlfriend, short named Girlfriend, who left for New York a few months ago. Girlfriend tells Muscle she's coming back, because she doesn't like New York. He also warns Muscle that it is dangerous to walk around late at night on the island. Upon getting off the car, the old man hands Girlfriend the watch, and says he believes it has been cursed. When she lights her lighter, she finds some strange figures at its back. Although she isn't sure what the figures mean, Girlfriend feels she has seen them somewhere, and decides to find out in the next few days. Moreover, there is a weather station on this island. Working for the station, reporter is currently broadcasting the weather to residents. She was warned yesterday that there would be heavy fog tonight. Despite the broadcast, Buddy and Curly continue to dance and sing on the trawler deck, while finding no signs of bad weather. Suddenly, Curly and Buddy discover that the clutch stops working, as well as the radio. When they attempt to figure it out, a strange, glowing fog envelops their trawler, trapping them all at sea. The fog is also disrupting the town's power and telephone lines, as it approaches the island. Girlfriend and Muscle are driving on the road and talking, without noticing the fog in darkness. All of a sudden, the car crashes on something, and the windows shatter. As soon as Muscle controls the wheel, their car keeps from being destroyed. The four people on the trawler, however, do not get this lucky. The screens on the cabin suddenly explode. On the deck, Buddy sees a giant clipper ship approaching, with a person seated on the clipper's board. He then shouts to Curly to help, but the clipper is gone when Curly comes outside. On the window, one of the girls draws the same strange figures as on the back of the watch. On the desk in the cabin, a knife starts to move on its own. Later, Buddy and Curly hear sounds coming from within the cabin, so they walk in to see what's happening. Right then, a magical power, however, throws the two girls out to the deck, where the moving knife stabs Curly in the forehead, killing him in an instant. The death of the others and the strange fog surround Buddy, scaring the shit out of him. Muscle and Girlfriend are now enjoying their time together after getting over the car accident. Girlfriend, however, decides to move in with Muscle, because the relationship between her and her mother is tense. The night is very enjoyable for Muscle and Girlfriend, since they have been separated for a few months. Weirdly enough, she is woken by a nightmare, and her laptop breaks down when she is trying to locate the strange figures. At that moment, she sees footprints on the roof. By following those footprints, she finds nothing. This makes Muscle and Girlfriend even more confused. Reporter's little kid, short named Son, is playing on the beach. He picks up an old comb, one that appears from ancient times, and returns it to his father. Upon cleaning the comb, Reporter finds the strange figures engraved on it. Within the next two days, Girlfriend continues searching for clues about the figures in the library. 
she finds some references to the figures in the old books, but it's not enough. Fortunately, the librarian explains that these figures belong to an old tribe, but that tribe has long ago gone extinct due to epidemics. Muscle and girlfriend find Buddy absent for a few days after he disappeared. The two then board a ship, and head out to find Buddy and the trawler. Upon boarding the trawler, they find that the fishnet has been pulled onto the deck, along with the bodies of Curly and the other two girls. In fear, girlfriend runs back into the cabin to call for help, but the telegram is also down. Girlfriend then goes to the lower level to look through, discovering Buddy in the freezing room with just a little breath. After returning to the island, the police believe Buddy killed the three people. The strange fog that kills them is explained by Buddy, but nobody believes his smelly bullshit. When Muscle leaves the trawler that day, he keeps the camera. Then he asks his girlfriend to check the video and find out who the murderer is. After discovering that the three people were killed by ghosts, girlfriend is shocked. At this point, her body falls into the sea, with a strange power entangling her underwater and preventing her from escaping. At this point, she manages to grab hold of the wall and escape. In the water, she loses the camera, but finds a mysterious package behind a wall. In her office, reporter takes the comb after cleaning it, but the comb begins to burn itself. The burning fire destroys the pictures on the wall, revealing once again those strange figures. She thinks the comb must be cursed, and asks her not to pick up anything at the seaside. Though getting hurt in the cabin, girlfriend tries to get an answer from her father, the priest of the town. She hands him the old book with the figure. Priest asks them to leave this island as soon as possible, without explaining why. Also, when girlfriend is talking to her father, she notices the strange figure on the wall behind him. Girlfriend, having not received any answers from her father, goes home to plan with muscle what to do next. In the autopsy room, girlfriend finds Curly's corpse. Suddenly the corpse rises from the autopsy table and approaches her, murmuring, blood will have blood returned. Muscle comforts her at this moment, though he does not believe the corpse to be alive. Then girlfriend pulls out the old book, showing Muscle the clues she discovers. As they work together, they further discover that there was something unusual happening on the day in 1871, when the island was established. In the meantime, the old man is eager to find more treasures and continue to hunt at the seaside. The next morning, he notices something interesting in the sea, so he drives his surfboard and heads there. Suddenly, an unknown fog engulfs the old man and kills him in an instant. At the same time, Sun happens to be playing at the seaside. Sun is thus startled and rushes home, barely escaping the fog in time. After a few moments, the fog gathers around the island. Reporter asks her colleague to stay inside when she notices the strange fog. But the colleague continues to go outside anyway. Within minutes, the colleague is killed by the fog. What's worse, the island's electricity is out, making the whole area dark. Reporter then calls the residents to see if her son can be found through the broadcast. In addition, Muscle and Girlfriend come out to see what's going on, while Girlfriend keeps searching for clues about the figures. Nevertheless, the fog seems to continue surrounding every house, and Sun's grandmother's hand is suddenly burned after being caught by a ghost hand that appears out of nowhere. At last, her body turns into a dry corpse. As reporter rushes to get home for Sun, a car crashes towards her, causing her car to fall into the sea from the shore. While underwater, she tries hard to escape. A ghost in the water suddenly appears at the window of her car and tries to stop her from escaping. The ghost also heads for Sun, trying to kill him as the fog surrounds reporter's house. Thanks to Muscle, Sun is saved. In an attempt to prove his innocence, Buddy escapes the police station and runs to the seaside. Out of his expectation, he sees the priest, who is on his way out, but stopped at the harbor by the heavy fog. They see the huge clipper ship again a few minutes later, realizing that something terrible is about to happen. While Muscle and Girlfriend are running away with Sun, their car crashes into a big ship, and all of them are injured badly. The worst part is that they soon discover that many ghosts are approaching them. At this point, reporter survives and finds them. For now, residents of the island are seeking refuge at the town hall. The priest finally tells his daughter the truth at this very moment. The four explorers that people are trying to remember today deliberately burned the clipper ship in 1871. Through that wealth, they purchased this island and established the town. In spite of their promise, the four explorers killed every single person on the clipper ship, including both old and young. Thus, these ghosts become vengeful revenants today, and return to kill the descendants of the four explorers.
Furthermore, the scene with four men at the beginning of the story, is not a rescue team, but rather the four explorers who fled after burning the clipper. The ghosts are attacking the town hall at this time, and all the windows and architecture in the hall are collapsing fast, killing the residents. As thousands of arrows shoot into his heart, the priest dies in the mass. As the mayor watches all this, he begs the ghosts for forgiveness. But it does not help, and he is also burned to death. Unexpectedly, girlfriend steps out of the crowd, walks over to the ghosts, and begins to tongue massage the ghost leader. To everyone's shock, girlfriend's face changes suddenly. She then becomes the wife of the ghost leader. In a short while, both girlfriend and the ghost vanish into the fog, while muscle runs toward them in despair. It then reveals that the grandma of girlfriend was actually the wife of the ghost leader, and girlfriend sacrifices herself to the ghost to spare the others. As a result, the fog disappears, and the island is once again serene. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.